Hi, I'm Dean Paul Denniston, and today we're replacing the throttle on our Razor Pocket Mod. This is an easy process. It should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver. A standard screwdriver. A 3mm Allen wrench. A 6mm Allen wrench. A zip tie. A pair of scissors. And a spray bottle with soapy water. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, remove the seat and the fairing. Step two, remove the throttle and handlebars. Step three, install your new throttle along with the handlebars. And step four, reinstall the fairing and the seat. As with working on any electric product, always make sure you turn off the power before you begin. Let's get started on step one, removing our seat and the fairing. Lift from the back and open the seat up Take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws inside the seat. Once all four screws are removed, lift the seat straight up and set it aside. Now we have to remove the front fairing. To do so, we have to remove the two Phillips screws on the top sides and the one in the bottom middle. Take your Phillips screwdriver and remove those screws. The screws on the top sides also have washers. Be sure not to lose them. With the screws out, now you can remove the fairing. Lift it straight up and slide it out gently. Now we need to disconnect the wires from the back of the fairing. Start with the two red wires on the back of the power switch. Pinch them and pull them straight back. And on the back of the charging port, follow the wires to the clip, pinch the clip and separate. Take your fairing and set it aside. And that concludes step one, removing the seat and fairing. Now onto step two, removing the throttle and the handlebars. In this step, we'll be cutting the zip tie, disconnecting the throttle plug, removing the three clips, sliding off the grip, sliding off the throttle, and sliding out the handlebars. Let's start by cutting the zip tie. You'll notice a zip tie holding all the wires to the frame. Take your scissors and carefully cut the zip tie. And throw the zip tie away. Now let's disconnect the throttle plug. Look for the plug with the two orange wires and the two brown wires. Pinch the connector clip and separate. Now we can move on to removing the three clips underneath the body. Press down on one side of them and pull them straight back and out. This may take a little finagling. First one's out, now let's move on to the second one. With the second one out, we can take out the third and final one. All three clips are removed, now let's slide the grip off. In order to remove the grip, first we have to slide the throttle back. Take your 3mm Allen wrench and loosen the screw on the top of the throttle. With the throttle loose, slide it straight back along with the spacer. Using your standard screwdriver, pry it underneath the grip, lift the grip up, and spray some soapy water in there. Twist the grip and finagle it off. And set it aside. Now let's remove the handlebars. Take your 6mm Allen wrench and loosen the bolt on the top of the handlebars. Slide the handlebars straight up. Slide the throttle and the spacer straight off and set the handlebars aside. Now you can feed the cable out of the body. And that concludes step two, removing our throttle and handlebars. Now onto step three, installing our new throttle. Feed the wire down through the top.
put it over the frame, run it along the bottom and up to the controller, and connect the plug. Now using your zip tie, zip tie the wires to the frame. With your scissors, carefully cut the excess. Now let's reinstall the three clips. Put the three cables into the clip and pop the clip into the frame. And do the same with the other two. Now let's put the handlebars back in. Slide the steering tube into the handlebar tube. Line up the handlebars with the wheel. And using your six millimeter Allen wrench, tighten the handlebars down. Next, slide the throttle on, followed by the spacer. Take your soapy water in your grip and spray soapy water inside. Slide the grip on and slide the throttle back against the grip. Now take your three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten down the throttle. And that concludes step three, installing our new throttle and attaching the handlebars. Now onto step four, reinstalling the fairing and the seat. Start by plugging in the two red plugs on the back of the power switch. And connect the charging port. Now put the fairing back on by inserting the tabs and sliding down. Now using your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the three fairing bolts. Remember, the bottom middle one is the one without the washers. Next, install the top two. These two have washers. Now we can reinstall the seat. Set it in place, open it up, and using your Phillips screwdriver and the four screws we removed earlier, tighten the seat back down. Close the seat. Now turn it on and make sure it works. That concludes the throttle replacement on our Razor Pocket Mod. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. But if you are still having any other questions or concerns, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. Take your Pocket Mod outside and go have some fun. Bye bye.